According to a massive new report from ProPublica and the New York Times, it looks like Donald Trump might be in a little bit of trouble when it comes to paying his taxes. What happened is that in the year 2008, for his Trump Tower in Chicago, Donald Trump told the IRS that the thing was worthless. Those, those are the words used. It met the definition of worthless because he owed so much money on it and it was bringing in so little that he would never be able to make a profit off of it. So that year, 2008, Donald Trump declared $651 million in losses, which is effectively the entire building. So at that point, you're not allowed to write it off ever again. You took all your losses in one year. And then two years later in 2010, Donald Trump wrote off another $100 million, actually more than $100 million for the very same tower that he had already written off to the IRS as worthless. So according to this new investigation, based on publicly available tax records for Donald Trump, he double dipped on the tax breaks, but it's not exactly as cut and dry as you may think because Donald Trump tried to get a little creative with it. In 2010, the year he wrote off additional losses on the thing he'd already written off completely, he had also moved Trump Tower Chicago to a different partnership that he owned, basically said, this group doesn't own it anymore. Now this group does, but Donald Trump owned both groups. So as the audit explains, it's basically like moving money from one pocket to the other. You're still the guy that holds the property. And then he wrote off, uh, what was the next one? $168 million after he'd already written the entire thing off. This is called double dipping and it is illegal. And if the IRS finishes their audit ever of Donald Trump, he could owe roughly $168 million in back taxes along with other penalties and fines, which is all well and good, right? Let's make the, the broke guy have to pay another $168 million, maybe upwards of $200 million and call it a day. But what gets me about this story is that, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a guy named Hunter Biden, right? Now, Hunter Biden last year was popped for, among other things, failing to pay his taxes and more importantly, filing fraudulent tax returns. Hunter Biden is facing criminal charges as he should, by the way, for filing fraudulent tax returns. Meanwhile, we've got Donald Trump here based on this publicly available information that shows he also filed fraudulent tax returns. So why in the hell are we talking about, okay, Trump will have to pay a fine while Hunter Biden just has to face criminal charges. Sh shouldn't it be both, right? Shouldn't both men be facing criminal charges if this is what happened? I don't think either of them should get off for this. I think they should both be penalized. They should both have to pay the back taxes and they should both be criminally prosecuted. You can't think that it's okay for one to be criminally prosecuted and the other to not be is the point here. And I am perfectly fine with Hunter Biden facing charges for this. But if Trump did the same thing here and screwed the federal government out of $168 million, that's not something that you should just say, ah, forgive and forget, right? Just give us the money and we'll move on. No, if I were to double dip in, you know, writing off something on my taxes this year, then doing it again next year, I would get popped and I would face charges rightfully. So, so would you. So the question I have is why are we even talking about Trump only facing a, a fine when it's so very obvious that he double dick, double dipped on the tax breaks and therefore should face criminal charges. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.